Oh, it's been a long time since I've used these. Building reg, trench block, 350 mil across. It's gone off nicely, so our task today is And good morning, it is Monday, the 5th of June. We're all refreshed after a weekend off. So we're ready to uh, get stuck back in here. As you can see, concrete was laid in the other day on Friday. It's gone off nicely. So our task today is get this slab as ready as we can get it today. Hopefully get the whole thing ready for um, whackering. Um, we're also gonna get the vertical damps cut in and I'm going to cut through some of that air uh, rendering. So, I'll just move that. We will um, get all that set up and then get this all set up. <laughs> and hopefully, the materials are due today, so hopefully they'll be here soon. We can get them laid out here, just over the fence, and then we can get them loaded out where we can. So, I will get you set up on time lapse and we will get started once the uh, once that man shows up. So see you in a bit. Morning. It's set out time. Right, we've pretty got much got fixed points here, so this is projection. It's three meters and fifty-seven. So that is like looking at it that way. So we're building this bit. So that's us here, we're just looking at this corner. Three meters, three meters and 57 to this edge. So we need to parallel that off there. We've just checked it. There's the three meter mark there, just above the sea. And there's a four meter mark just over there where the old wall used to be. And the five meters is five meters and five. So it's out to square that way by five mil there. So it's probably less than 10 mil over the, over the whole length of the building, which is next to nothing. But we'll, I think what we'll do is we'll still square it off that back wall. So our, so that, that wall will be square off that wall. You get me? I think. Yeah, so we need to get the diagonals now, just to double check our diagonals. So we've got, Three point zero five seven. So that's our three three zero five seven, which is that. I know there's apps for this, but this is where we do it. So, and you square that. I don't think we can even see it. So that's hey. I don't think we can see it. It'll still show up. It gives us nine point three four five. So we've got five point seven. 5.7 squared is 32.4 now. So, add that to our 9.345. 9.345 gives you 41.835. Square root it, which is the bottom below. So click that. That gives you six six meters four hundred six meters four hundred sixty seven. So point nine now. So round that up. So six meters four hundred sixty eight. So that's how you get your diagonal. Now we can't check the diagonal because we've got all our stone pile. We need to get that down just so we can get the tape over the top. So, while we're still waiting for our gear, we can get this leveled out a bit, get rid of some of that crap, and then um, stick it on talents for that. Right, another quick one while we're setting out. When you're putting your line down, your bender, you've obviously got your bell cast. We've got our mark on the brickwork there, but we use the laser level because it's always hard. Bit. 
because your, your level ends up like not your level ends up like that trying to get it down to the floor so this thing let's put it on our line there and it drops the line down to the, gr to the ground we can just put a few marks up there and then it'll you can just about well you can't see it but I can it's up on the face here so there you go so I've got my mark there my pencil mark there I can get rid of the laser now and mark that over this big spiral level this handy little piece of kit we've got the horizontal the vertical and the cross so we'll switch that off for now because it's done its job for now block is a bit uh, wavy but um, we'll get around that we'll get them moved immediately but yeah lovely yeah no more nowhere uh, going all the way around the house so I think all that's left now is the insulation from Selco so thank you for woods let's get some trench block load out so now the loads are out I just wanted to show you up close so as you'll see in the title of the video, these are the new building reg trench block, 350 mil across, and uh, I can confirm they're heavy. They are, uh, they're monsters. Well, it's like it for yourself. But obviously, these are to meet the new regs. So, with the bigger cavities, it's got to be done, regardless of what we think about it. So. That's the trench block loaded out, so we may need more because they accidentally sent the original trench block, which in fact, here we go, one sec, let's uh, give you a comparison.
There you go. So there's the, uh, there's that difference made. Which, which may not look like a lot, but it's what you need, so. So we may need more, because they sent the wrong ones, but hopefully not. We'll see, we'll see how we get on. Either way, Dad will probably just nip to Fairwood, so. There you go, I think we'll get the war starter set up now and then have a quick break. So we'll uh, catch you after break. Someone's commented that we need to buy watches because it takes so much time and effort to take your phone out of your pocket and to check the time. So, 11 minutes past two, we've had a break. We're all set up, starter packs up, mix is on, it's all set out. Um, I had a bit of a meltdown with the uh, setting out there because I kept me reading the tape wrong, completely my fault. But um, I ended up checking all my diagonals and redoing them all again and then getting them wrong, then going back. So, we are right. Everything I wrote down before is correct. So this, so we've got the 5.7 to there, which is the edge of that brick. We've got 3060 to the line, and then that's the diagonal of 4868. That's a bit. That's a, that's a big ass. Uh, that's a big ass extension. Four eight four eight six eight. Six four six eight. Oh, six four six eight. You said eight six four eight. Did I? It's right there. numbers in wrong order. So that so um we've got the laser level set up again, so we spin it. As you can see, by pure fluke it's lined up with the floor level. But that's not us, we're working to DPC which is this level. It's about 40 mil lower. But what we do is with our tape measure off the concrete to the laser line, which you can see is 575 we know that's gauge there's the nail we've measured all that so 575 so here there you'll just take me I'll spin the laser spin the laser around we've got 590 590 so it's 15 mil low in this corner so biggest beds yes Let me just try something as our first block set. That's ready for running in that way, which we're going to do shortly. But Alex is going to run this side in first because I've got this bit of um, foundation to knock off. As you can see, this is where we are now. We've got 900 concrete here, and we're still not touching the uh, existing concrete on the, on the extension, which goes straight to damp, straight down to damp, and straight onto that which is about nine and a half inches of concrete and below that was shite it, you've, you've got to go down another 18 inches at least maybe more to hit good clay so that's not on very good ground and it's not um, that's not an, that's not a conservatory that's a full full blown extension one and a half story so that's that's not very good that but we've kind of underpinned it with ours so we're going to pack that up so, we're all set. With our big 350 blocks. So, back to time lapse and we're going to try and get, get cracking. This needs, to be, this needs to be prepped for floor tomorrow. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
It's uh, about ten past one. Had lunch. You've probably seen on the time that's which we left over lunch. We've seen Robbie and Robbie here uh, with Danny, who's our structural engineer, going over the door size because this is going to be a 3.6 door. So it's, it's like what size steel he can get over the top with and keep the room above above it. Obviously, the, the higher the steel, the less room you've got to get your roof over it. Um, luckily, they came today because we've we've brought this in. About 100 off the, off the end. That is an immovable object, that, that pipe. If we move that, we've got to take the fence out and dig all the way down there. So that's staying where it is. So Robbie, I think, had measured to the end. But in my diary, the measurement was less than that, so I've gone off that. So a mix up, but a mix up we've sorted. Could have been a very costly mix up, but thank God they came here today. And that's that's fixed now. It's just, it just shows how easy little mistakes can be made. So yeah. We've loaded all the seven newton block out. Um, you might just see a pencil mark down there, about here. That's a pillar. Then it's all doorway up to where the end of that rake is. Where's the rake? There, I think. So then that's that's a pillar to there. It's all block work down there. And because we've got to raise this up above the DPC about 35 mil. It's, it was going to be a coarser brick and a coarser block. It's now going to be snap headers on edge and then the block on top of that. And that snap header will give us the extra 30, 35 mil to get us to the right level. And when we do that, again, we're going to get the laser level set up. Set it off the um, skirting board over there. See, I'm pointing at that. I can't see if I'm pointing right at the camera. The skirting board there. That's our datum. So this inside wall is going to be set off that maybe slightly 10 mil lower depends if they're having tiles or not but the, the, the skirtings i'm not sure if they've been changed or not but that's our height bottom of that skirting because obviously that's the skirting used to sit on the original floor oh, I, th I think you get that so yeah um we're getting the inside done first this won't take long because there's not a lot in the, in the inside and then we need to get a profile on that corner and there's four coarser reds the little red rustic bricks which is going to match those and I'm going to whack them in the important bit is to get them across the front it's not important if we don't get the side in today because the, the slab goes up to the block work we need the front up because obviously the block work stops there and stops there so we need the brick work up because the slab goes round and wraps round and it goes against the outside skin very important that you always take your slab up to your outside skin you don't have your wall going across there cause your kinds of grief and problems and it's not it's not it's um it's not good practice so yeah we've still got a hell of a lot to do this afternoon in four hours I mean it might be a late one tonight well might be it's gonna be a late one tonight but um yeah Alex will be back in a minute mix is on we're loaded out so I'll get this laser level set up and stay back on time lapse for a bit while we get this set up catch you in a bit Thank you. 
So, what do you think of the new, new regulation trench blocks? Heavy. It's even better if we sensors the right ones. Yeah, we uh, the the ones that were wrong, we just uh, cut them down to size. But these thing, these new ones, they are heavy. I am dreading when we do these in the winter and the wet. <laughs> I think a regular trench block was already like 23 kilograms, roughly. So I bet these are like. Push. Fishing scales in the way. These will be pushing 26 at least. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. When, you've got a, when you've got a hip that needs replacing, it's hard work picking up and bending down to put them down. Yeah. But um, there's our, I guess, coarser pig, technically. Yeah. It's not a coarser It is and it isn't because a coarser pig's when it's out of level. Yeah. But we're, we're jacking up the floor to come above GPC instead of putting bits of timber on it like we usually do. We're actually building block work like we did on the last job. And then the first course of block that goes in after that will cut back to coursing. It's nice, something nice and solid to work for. So in other words, this block, that's the finished height there. That's the height. So that's my side done. Um, yes, please. yes, please. And I've just moved all the uh, soil stuff onto the outside for backfilling. So now I think in a bit as well, I'll get some of this dragged across here so we know roughly how much we may need. Um, after I've done my return. So, yeah. The, the um, I reckon I just set out for the returns, that return now, the block work. Yeah. So the slab returns. And I'll keep going on about that, but that's how you do it. That's what you're supposed to do it. You heard it first. So, yeah. Um, better change this battery and that's keep you up. Time, so I'm not the first. <laughs> I'll keep you up the sun because it, it's that hot today that this camera's been overheating the last two, t the last two days. I'm probably still in the manhole. Just make out the outline of the manhole. That thing's been buried with backfill, with hardcore, with concrete. Yes. With a fixed pipe, don't worry. Yeah. Go back to the previous video and you'll see that it was fixed. So, yeah, I'll um, change this battery and get you set up. Oh, yeah, and there's a screw tie going in. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm signed that in. Using them on the front, screw ties on the back. See you in a minute.
and it's been a long time since I've used these. But uh, still as satisfying as they used to be. The uh, good old homemade brick tongs. These have done this for a long time, so it's uh, nice to be using these again. Uh, block work on the inside is all set up, and you can just about see over there, Dad's got a little corner set up there, so now he's getting this corner set up, and I'm gonna get the bricks loaded out, so that's where we're at right now. It's just, uh, it's gone past three, so let's try and uh, make this last hour and a half count. Two hours less realistic. Quarter past three, as Scott just told us, so I'll shut, I'll shut, shut Scott up. Great. Clive's just finished, so we're back on radio two. So quarter past three, this is a this is where we're up to. Inside's ready. We've got to get these. Sorry about the wind, I can feel the wind. Should have the on really, but we're trying to push on. Um yeah. Block works already, but we've got to get these four across the door at least. So we've got something to concrete up against. I've said all this before. Set the nasal level up, set it to the uh, oh, damp course um, DPC datum, and then you just see over here, let's see if the, the uh, camera picks it up. I've got a piece of, piece of tape, a bit cramped here. I've got a piece of tape there, I'll put my hand in front of it, you see the laser line. There you go. So you just see it on the top of that tape. So that's our mark measured down to that, and that's 303 mil. So we'll bang on for gauge. So we're good. Uh, we had our share of bad luck in the foundation, so things have gone okay for us today. So so that. So far. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're riding all up at the moment, and we're in the shade now, which is great. So as I said, an hour and a half. I think two hours to get this, this in. Uh, once, he, once he's loaded, there'll be two of us on it. I said an hour and a half. I know you did. Yeah, so that side's nearly done, that, that's nearly done, that is done, and then we can do a bit of backfilling then, yeah. get this stone, I don't think we're going to need more stone, I think once we've spread that out and blinded it we're going to be okay, happy days, so let's get a line on this and get cracking.
So those are what we got up to. We ran out of mix, but good thing is we got enough of the fourth course in to go past the doorway. So we can backfill up to there now tomorrow. Theoretically we can slab that now. Yeah, theoretically this can get slabbed now. But um tomorrow obviously I'll probably get that finished while dad's whackering and such. We'll probably get maybe another ton in because after scraping this around now, there's not a lot. We've got to go to the top of the brick on edge, more or less. So I reckon another ton should probably do it. We hope. But um, here we go. Pretty good day's work for a flat start. And considering the first like hour or two, there was no materials here. Oh, yeah. So we didn't do too bad. Yeah. All loaded out and all set out, so excellent. We'll uh, catch you tomorrow for uh, slab prep. <laughs>